Okay, this video is going to focus on the pelvic girdle portion of the appendicular skeleton. So you have both a left and a right pelvic bone. And to look more specifically at these bones, I'm going to use a disarticulated left pelvic bone. There are three portions of the pelvic bone that you should be familiar with. The superior lateral portion of the pelvic bone is called the ilium. The middle posterior portion of the pelvic bone is called the ischium. And the anterior inferior portion of the pelvic bone is called the pubis. And it is difficult to distinguish exactly where one bone starts or what, where one bone ends and another one starts. Do not be overly concerned about that. Just be able to recognize that this top almost seashell fan like portion is the ilium. The posterior rounded portion is the ischium and the anterior pointed portion is the pubis. Now looking more specifically at the pelvic bone and some specific structures that you will find. Let's start here on the pubic bone. The area where one pelvic bone articulates to the other is called the pubic symphysis. That's what the word symphysis means, comes together. So if we look over here on the skeleton, you will see the left and right pubic bones and that area where they join is called the pubic symphysis. If I give you a lateral view of the pelvic bone, you will see this large indentation or opening. This is called the acetabulum. This large round opening is where the femoral head fits in to form your hip joint. And you can see that here on our skeleton, the rounded femoral head, which I will point out to you again in another video, fits into this rounded opening called our acetabulum. Looking up on the ilium portion of the pelvic bone, we have what's called the iliac crest, which is this ridge along the top of the pelvic bone. If you put your hands on your hips, typically you're resting your hands on the iliac crest. Looking now at the ischial portion of the pelvic bone, we have two structures that you should be familiar with. This point is called the ischial spine. And this round, rough section of the ischium is called the ischial tuberosity. This is a very important area to be familiar with. This is where all of your hamstring muscles originate. So again, ischial tuberosity and the smaller point is the ischial spine. This large opening in your pelvic bone is called the obturator foramen. And that concludes all of the bones and structures of the pelvic girdle.